Get up. Okay, there's a third video. Mm. This is episode itchy. one, chapter four. Well, you slept in a barn, little lady. Lucky you don't have spiders in your hair. <gasps> but I bet your daddy scared them all away, huh? I'm uh, not her daddy. Not her dad. Name's Lee. I'm Kenny. Dad, we're in the middle of fence. There's a tractor and everything. We better get going, or we won't hear the end of it. That's my boy, Ken Jr. We call him Duck, though. Dodging or quacking? Quacking. Dad! See? The word is you were on your way to Macon. My family's from there. Well, Macon's on the way, and personally, I'd appreciate the company of a guy who can knock a couple of heads together if he has to. Maybe let's see how things run Maybe. out. We'll see how things shake out with this Herschel guy. <laughs> Good luck with that. He's a hard ass. Honey, Duck, this is Lee. And, uh, what's the girl's name? Clementine. 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 That is a very pretty name. Thanks. Well, we should get to work. We've all seen what those things can do out there, so the faster we get this fence up, the better. I want to build a fence. Yeah? Well, I need a good foreman. You can sit on the tractor and yell at me whenever I take a water break. On the tractor? Cool! Duck and I will hop to it. I can keep an eye on your little girl here on the porch. We can visit. So, right now we're just gonna explore the area. Hey there, girls. You two actually look relaxed. I think we're doing just fine. Clementine was just telling me about first grade. Oh, uh, how's that? It's easy. Well, yeah. So, you're good? Anyway, it's almost like we didn't see people eating each other for the past three days. It's peaceful here, no? So, uh, what do you do when corpses aren't walking around? I'm a veterinarian back in Fort Lauderdale, like Herschel here, except more with dogs and cats and uh, not horses. What is it that you do, Lee? I used to teach up at the University of Georgia. We need to hope that we can go back to our jobs soon, Lee. Back to normal. It can't stay like this. No, I used to. I was let go a little while back. Well, that's too bad. Well... I hear people always clamor back to college after a big disaster. People don't want to die ignorant, I guess. How did you handle getting through the city? Kenny just drove. We passed so many people that needed help, and we just passed people over some. Just, just... Uh, it's okay. It's fine. You don't have to say anymore. I want to go home tomorrow, but even then I can't take away the things we... The things Doc went through. Don't you want to go back to the moment before you knew about all of this? This could all be providence, you know? Not what we saw. You just never realize when something is happening to you, what you're being given. Maybe this will all work out. Your optimism is refreshing. New. These past couple days, at least. Back in a bit. Okay. I don't remember that, so we continue to explore the area. Remember, we're supposed to build a fence, so that's what we're gonna do right now. Hey there, uh, Kenny. So, what's your family's plan? Get back on down to Lauderdale and let this mess get sorted out. Government will start handing out shots, and the National Guard will do its thing. On the odd chance things got too bad, we could hop on my boat, I guess. You've got a boat. I'm a commercial fisherman, catching mackerel, dolphin, whatever's biting and paying. Katya wouldn't be wild about it, but the boat's not that bad. How's your son doing? Good, I think. Katya's got a sister up in Memphis. We were coming back from visiting her. We were in a gas station, and some guy grabbed my boy. 
I thought he was kidnapping him. I was on the fucker in about two seconds, and... Christ. Just lucky I was there. We saw a lot of bodies before we stumbled upon Herschel's. But we're a tough family, Lee. Ain't nothing gonna phase us. Okay, need any help? Need any help? No, I think I got it. Okay. Do you need any help? What do you mean? I mean in taking care of that little girl. You know what you're doing? You got kids of your own? I'm lucky, no kids. I'm I think okay. I've got it handled okay. As long as I keep her safe, I think I'm doing all right. With those things out there, maybe, sure, that's enough. But you gotta ask yourself if you're the type of guy who can do better than that if her parents don't show up. I'll keep that in mind. See you. Okay, so we'll keep moving. How you doing, Duck? Good. I'm gonna drive the tractor. I'm the foreman. Lift with your back, Sean. Hey, Lee. Need a hand? That'd be great. If you could cut those two bikes to length, that sure speed things up. My dad doesn't know how bad it is. No, he doesn't. I saw a guy in Atlanta kill a kid. A boy. Just shot him right in the face. Was the boy one of the walkers? I don't even know. He was either attacking the guy or asking for help. He didn't even hesitate. He just turned, put the barrel of the gun right between the kid's eyes, and pulled the trigger. You don't see things like that. It's not like in the movies. They don't fall like you think. Did you have to do it? Do what? Kill. Have you had to off one yet? Oh, uh... I had to shoot one. I could shoot one, maybe, if it were so far away. Beginning, I'm just glad we're getting this fence built. Dad just wants to keep the family safe and thinks inviting people in is a bigger threat than whatever's out there. How about yours? How's your family? I don't know where they are. My parents are in Macon. My, my brother and parents are in Macon. I hope. Oh, man. I hope so, too. Maybe it's not too bad there. That's probably all I need cut for now. Thanks. You're welcome. And, Sean, thanks again for the ride. No problem, Lee. Couldn't leave you behind. Remember uh, the walking anyway, dead. Can you see my dad? Who might affect you? In the, in the previous in the stages before. That's whatever I'll change you right now. It's gonna affect you in the later stage. So right now I gotta meet Mr. Henshaw. How'd you get out of Atlanta? I got a ride and then I was in a wreck. I walked until your boy found me. Hmm. Well, you're no worse for wear. This farm's a nice plot of land. Huh. Had you told me 20 years ago I'd still be doing Wait. this, I would have told you that you were full of crap. Never was a plan having a place like this. It was in the family and I guess so was I. Family's important. It's all that matters. You agree with that? Was brought up to? Yes. Where's your family now? Parents? Jamaican. Wife? Girlfriend? My parents are in Macon with my brother. Well, I hope they're all right. But now you've got this little girl to take care of. Clementine, is it? You just stumbled up on her? I was being attacked and she came to my rescue. Hmm. 
Can I give you a piece of advice? Sure. I don't know who you are or what you did. Let's say things don't get better back in the cities, or they get worse before they do. You're going to have to depend on the honesty of strangers if you're going to make it. And if those same people get to questioning yours, you're going to be in trouble. But at least you have the common sense to listen to a man giving you advice. Okay, something just happened. Go! I'll get my gun! 